Well, I'm back. It's time for coffee with Colleen. I have my cup poured and this is a little bit more informal than I wanted to start things off um, for the new year, but we were in a car accident last week. The car was totaled by the insurance company and uh, we got money from the insurance company uh, from the other side for doing our kitchen. So now we're working on the kitchen and so many things happening. So uh, I just wanted to start with you ladies on Dressing with Dignity group and uh, kind of dive into this. And then in the new year, we're going to be starting a confidence uh, series. And I guess confidence and coffee with Colleen. I'm not sure how we're going to do it, but because <clears throat> we've been focused on this and I'm working on a perfume special. So a lot of people buy perfume for Christmas and uh, teaching people how to pick out the proper perfume, not just for themselves, but for others. Uh, I got the Style Academy coming up tomorrow night, Tuesday night and working with those ladies, so a lot going on. Um, one of the things I was reflecting on this past weekend as we're preparing for Christmas is how we get so caught up in all the activities that are going on in our life and how we can be kind of chasing and lunging and going after things all over the place instead of focusing on uh, the reason for the season. And we get caught up in the hectic activities. And then this morning I read a book that was written uh, by a friend of mine. And her uh, comment was right along the same lines. And she talked about the fact that they had a gerbil that they had used for a family project. And the, the gerbil got out of its cage. Well, after the family project, it became a pet. And the gerbil got out of its cage. And it was running around the house and they chased it around the house and they could never catch it. And she said it would get in nooks and crannies and it would get involved, uh, get buried in, and get hidden in things. And every time they'd see it, they'd go, there's a gerbil and they'd all run and lunge after the gerbil and of course the gerbil would scurry away. She said finally after six months, she gave up chasing the gerbil and said, you know what, forget it. I'm tired of chasing this thing. And so she would be sitting there in the morning, you know, having her cup of coffee. And she would see it out of the corner of her eye and she'd be, oh, no, let the gerbil be. And after, like, I think she said a week, the gerbil came up to her and just stood there on the ground next to her and just looked at her. And she looked at it and she said, no, I'm not going to chase the gerbil. And she went back to reading or whatever, or knitting, crocheting, whatever it was she was doing. And the gerbil just kind of looked at her and then walked away. And a little while later, the gerbil came up to her again and she looked and she went, maybe I can get it. And she started to go after it and it scurried away. And she went, oh, when will I learn my lesson? Just let it be, let it be. And a little while later, the gerbil came up to her and she turned and looked at it. And it looked at her. And she very slowly and gently, calmly and peacefully reached down and the gerbil walked right into her hand. She picked it up and put it in the cage and it's been in its cage ever since. I thought that's the perfect analogy for this time of year. What are we lunging at? That no matter how hard we try to chase after it, it scurries away. What peace are we lunging at? What, you know, um, activities are we scurrying toward when really if we just relaxed, sat back, and were at peace, would come to us naturally. So what in our lives now that we are approaching this beautiful time of year, this, this beautiful preparation for, the, for Christmas and for us as Christians, the birth of the Christ child, and, uh, what in our life in general are we lunging toward when if we just were at peace and let things happen would happen at its normal rate and its normal time. So I'm reflecting, we don't have a gerbil, um, <laughs> but I'm reflecting on those areas of my life. What am I uptight and anxious and you know, I've got a kitchen project. I've got the Style Academy project I think we're working on. Um, I'm finishing up uh, accessories tomorrow night and then we're going into other things. Uh, then I also have that perfume project I'm working on. Uh, the kitchen, the new car. Um, we've got this glorious season of, e uh, of Easter, of Christmas that's coming on us. Um, we have a uh, project also that we're working on in the house. There's 
uh, homeschooling. My daughter is changing jobs potentially because she's, you know, there are so many things that we're like, gotta do, gotta do, gotta do, gotta do. When if we just, you know what? <sighs> Let me be at peace. God, give me the strength to deal with this. I'm gonna make my list. And I'm gonna focus on right now what I'm doing right now and that activity that I can focus on and make an impact on right now. And trust that God's gonna give me the strength and the courage to do, he's, he's gonna give me what I need to do what needs to be done right now. And I can't make an impact on the other things, but they will come in their proper time for everything there is a season. So that's my challenge for you today and this week, because I don't plan on doing another one of these this week. I might do another one, I'm not sure. <laughs> Depends on how the perfume project goes and the kitchen goes and the new car goes and the accessories go and the two webinars I have coming up this week, Tuesday night and Thursday night. And you know, <sighs> be at peace and do what I can this morning. And this morning, I'm finishing up a chapter. I'm a contributing author to a new book that Seton Homeschool is, is doing. Uh, and I'm finishing up that chapter today and turning that in. So, because it's of course due tomorrow and I'm not finished with it yet. Um, finishing up a blog post I did for our friends over at Hydro Chic. And uh, so those are my two projects that I wanna do this morning before breakfast. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Those are my two projects for today. So what is your project? What's your project this morning? Go ahead and, and put that this below. What one thing do you want to get accomplished today and not worry about the other things? What's your one little gerbil that you've been lunging toward? Or what's your one project that you want to get done today that you'll be happy with if you get done today? Post that below and then we can all say a prayer for each other that we get done today the thing that we want to get done and we can stop lunging and chasing gerbils. Okay, enjoy your cup of coffee. Have a glorious day. God bless you. I love you ladies very much. And we'll see you in the group this week, and I'll have another coffee chat for you next Monday. Love you. God bless. Bye now.